Hi, I'm Barb Bruce. Welcome to the 12 days for a worry-free Christmas to help you live with less stress and more joy this holiday season. Inevitably, someone is going to contact you for the holidays asking for help, and it's usually the person that you don't want to hear from. Why? Because they don't have a good track record with being responsible or with making good decisions. But we don't always feel comfortable or confident in knowing should we get involved. So I want to share with you a tool from my Winning the Worry Battle book, and it's called the Sort It Out Tool. It's four questions to help you decide whether or not it would be healthy or helpful for you to offer assistance. The Sort It Out Tool uses the LIGHT, L-I-T-E acronym. The L stands for legal status. So question number one is, am I legally responsible for this person? The I stands for improving. So question number two is, is this person asking for support in an improving situation or rescue from a self-inflicted and declining situation? The T stands for track record. Question number three is, does this person have a track record of asking others for help or of irresponsible decisions? And the E in the LIGHT acronym is for enabling. Question number four, will my assistance reinforce this person's self-reliance or make this person more dependent in the future? The thing about the sorted out tool is it doesn't give you the answers for what you should do. Every relationship is important. Every connection is precious. So you're going to need to spend some time deciding what really God is calling you to do. And if you think through those four questions and realize that God's not calling you to step in and help, then you can offer them still compassion and kindness by saying something like, I'm so sorry that you're going through this difficult time. I'm unable to help you, but I will be praying for you. And I know that with God's help, you can get through this and get back on track. Sometimes when people that we care about are going through hard times and they haven't been making the best decisions, the very best thing that we can do is step back, let the natural consequences unfold, and pray that they seek God's help for where they're at. If this was helpful for you, share this video with others and make sure to check out the rest of my 12 days for a worry-free Christmas.